Hello children I hope you are all happy and safe welcome to the special english hour so are you ready to have fun then let's get started with a quick action song bachcho tv aur mere sath ek dance mein jud jaiye Five, six, take them right up to your head. Seven and eight, throw your hands up in the air. Nine and ten, let's do it all again. One, two, three, put your hands to your side. Four, five, six, take them right up to your head. Then let's do it all again. Children, I hope you all enjoyed the dance we just did. Now, I would like to ask you a few questions. Let us share our thoughts and ideas. बच्चों, अब मैं आपसे कुछ सवाल पूछना चाहूंगी Children, what do you do for fun? बच्चों, आप अपने मजे के लिए क्या करते हैं I like listening to songs and dancing. That's how I have fun. Do you like playing games? बच्चों क्या आपको खेल खेलना पसंद है आई लाइक प्लेइंग बैडमिंटन आई ऑल्सो लाइक प्लेइंग लगोरी चिल्ड्रन विच गेम्स टू यू लाइक टू प्ले बच्चों आपको कौन सी गेम खेलना पसंद है ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अ लिटिल मोर अबाउट गेम्स When we play hide and seek we have to count till 10 so that everyone gets a chance to hide am i right okay so how will we count till 10 if we don't know counting we can't right so we need to know the numbers from 1 to 10 so that we can count while we play hide and seek okay Let's talk about langdi. When we play langdi, we know that on the tiles there are numbers given. Am I right? Okay. Words are very important for a language. Come, let's have a look at a few new words. You will also see these words in the lesson that we'll be reading today. Bachcho. नई भाषा सीखने के लिए शब्द बहुत ही जरूरी हैं। ये कुछ नए शब्द हैं इन्हें गौर से सुनिएगा लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द फर्स्ट वर्ड राइम्स 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 सेकेंड वर्ड ट्रंक ट्रंक trunk third word naughty 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 fourth word forget 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 fifth word worried 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 children now that we have spoken so much about games and about visiting the park come let's read a small story where a few children visit the park if you have your my english textbook please open 
to page number 12. You need to point to the words as I read. If you don't have a textbook, you can listen carefully. Children, come, let's read the lesson in the park. Ishan says, come on little friends. It's time to go back home. Come here and let me count. There should be nine children in all. Ishan counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and Eight. This is Ishan. He is counting all the children. Where's the ninth child? Let me see again. Isha, Nisha, Publi, Publi, Ricky, Wiki, Go to. Chotu. Then who is missing? Oh, I am so worried. Where have all the children gone? Bache kaha gaye hai? All the children have gone to a park. What are the children going to do now? Bache abhi kya karne wale hai? All the children are preparing to leave for home. Before leaving for home, what does Ishan do? Ishan park se nikalne se pehle kya karta hai? Ishan is the oldest of them all. So he is counting all the children. What happens while counting the children? Bacho ko ginte vakt kya hota hai? Ishan counts that there are eight children. He counts again taking each one's name. But he still finds only eight children while nine went to the park. So Ishan gets worried. Ishan bohat pareshan ho jata hai. So, what happens next? Children, let's read further. A lady passes by. Ishan says, Auntie, please help us. Please count and tell us how many we are. Here is... Auntie. Auntie says, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine. You are nine in all. Ishan says, Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So, the naughty child has come back. Good. Let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What? Eight again. Someone is missing again. The other children start giggling. A man passes by. 
Ishan says, Uncle, please help us. Please count and tell us how many we are. So children, what is the problem here? Bacho, yaha par kya samasya hai? The problem is that nine children went to the park. But when Ishan counts the other children, he only gets eight children. That's why he is worried that where is the ninth child? Has the ninth child gone missing? Kya wo ninth bacha, nova bacha gum ho kya hai? Isi liye Ishan pareshan hai. Ishan calls an auntie in the garden for help. Auntie counts all the children including Ishan. And auntie says there are nine children. So Ishan thinks that there is a naughty child who runs away when I am counting and came back as soon as auntie was counting. Let's see what happens next. This is uncle. Uncle counts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I see nine children in all. Ishan sighs. That's all right then. Come on, Isha, Nisha, Bubbly, Bubbly, Go to Chotu, Ricky, Wiki, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? This is too much. The ninth child is missing again. What a naughty child. The other children start giggling. Oh no, what shall I do? I am the oldest. Everyone will scold me. And I don't even know who is missing. After auntie counts, Ishan once again counts the children and again finds that there are only eight children. Again, Ishan is worried that where is the ninth child? Then there is an uncle passing by. Ishan calls that uncle. Uncle, uncle, please help us. Please count how many children are there. Uncle once again counts. And tells Ishan that including you, there are nine children. Ishan once again himself sits to count all the kids. And he finds that there are only eight children. Didi. Hello everybody. Coming back home. Let's go together. Ishan says, Didi, Didi, there's a problem. One of us is missing. First, we were nine. Now, we are only eight. Didi says, Let me see. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But you are nine. No one is missing. What's the problem now? Whenever Ishan counts the children, there are only eight. But when auntie counted, when uncle counted, 
there were nine children. So Ishan is worried that who is missing. A Didi passes by. Didi asks all the children, where are you going? Home. And Ishan tells her, Didi, please count all of us once. Didi counts all the children and says, yes, there are nine children here. Ishan says, so that naughty child has come back again. When I count, this naughty child runs away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. See? Didi says, yes, I see. And I also see one more child who forgets to count himself. Ishan, oh no, ha ha ha, laughs. How silly of me. Everyone laughs. So what happens? Why do all the children start laughing? Ishan was counting all the children but did not count himself. That is what Didi told Ishan. That you kept counting the other children but you did not count yourself. Ishan also laughs at his silly mistake. So children, did you enjoy the story of Ishan and his friends visiting the park? Bacho, kya apko ye kahani pasand hai? I am sure some of you have liked this story. Ishan and his friends went to the park and while returning from the park, Ishan being the oldest wanted to make sure that everyone returns safely home. That is why he was counting all the children. But it was his silly mistake not to count himself. Ishan apne aap ko ginna bhool gaya tha. Isi liye usse aunt bachche milte the, jabki aunty, uncle aur didi ko pure no bachche milte the. So children, what is the little lesson that we can learn from this? Whenever we go out for a picnic or an outing with other children, they may be our younger siblings or even friends. We must always keep a count. We must make sure that how many children have gone and how many have returned should be the same number. So if nine children left for the park, all nine children should return. So, Ishan is a very sweet boy who wanted to make sure that all his friends are safe. Children, we came across the new words that we learned earlier today in the lesson as we read. Let us try to form short simple sentences using these words. Bacho, humne jo naye shabd pehle dekhe the, wo lesson padhte vakt bhi humne dekhe. आइए उनके साथ कुछ शॉर्ट सेंटेंसेस वाक्य बनाते हैं द फर्स्ट वर्ड इज राइम्स राइम्स चिल्ड्रन सिंग नर्सरी राइम्स ग्रैनी टीचेस अस न्यू राइम्स सेकंड वर्ड ट्रंक ट्रंक the tree trunk is very big. The monkey climbed the tree trunk. Next word. Worried. Worried. Mummy was worried as we were late. I was worried as my cat went missing. Children. Let's do an activity now. I will be giving you some sentences. You have to fill in the blanks. 
To fill in the blanks, I will also give you two options. You have to underline the correct option. Let me give you one example. I found a pencil or pencils. What do you think is the correct answer? Please underline it. So, I found a pencil is the correct answer. So, children, like this, you will see more sentences on your screen. You have to decide what is the correct word to fill in the blank and underline it. Okay? Let's begin. So children, I hope you were able to find the answers. Come, let me show you. I saw an orange. Second, I ate a few oranges. We saw some tigers. She took a few apples. She carried an umbrella. So children, were you able to solve the activity? These are sentences we use every day. So the more often we speak, the more sure we become of how to fill in the blanks correctly. Bacho, ye kuch aise sentences hain jo hum roz use karte hain. Jitna zyada hum English mein baat karenge, utna zyada hume ye sentences sahi se banana aayega. Children, I hope you all liked today's session. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy while I tell you a wonderful story. Bacho, ab main aapko ek kahani sunana chahti hoon. Do you like listening to stories of kings and queens? Bacho, kya aapko raja aur rani ki kahani sunna achha lagta hai? I would love listening to stories of kings and queens. Which is your favorite story? आपकी मन पसंद स्टोरी कौन सी है? My favorite story was the story of Princess Snow White. मुझे Snow White की स्टोरी बहुत पसंद है. So today I am going to tell you another such story of a king. The name of the story is The King's Crown and it's written by Richa Bhaskar. Come. Let's read. Many, many years ago, in Myanmar, there was a king named King Anwaratha. King Anwaratha was a very good king. He wanted to build a temple called Pagoda for Lord Buddha. He sent out his white elephant and he told his people, Wherever my white elephant stops, I will build the temple there. The king sent out his white royal elephant and the big white elephant kept walking. The elephant walked to the top of a hill and stopped there and didn't move. So the king said, so be it. At the top of the hill will be the temple of Lord Buddha. The temple for Lord Buddha, the pagoda 
started being built slowly and slowly one story after the other it was built and one day the king came to see the mighty pagoda the king was fascinated with its beauty the king looked up looked up looked up and took the king's crown fell off the pagoda was so high on top of the hill the others picked up the king's crown and gave it to him the king loved the pagoda he visited it every day but the king noticed that when he tried to see till the doorway he could see the pagoda but when he tried to see beyond it his crown would do follow king anvaratha could not sleep that night he kept on turning and twisting in his bed he only had one thought going on there will be so many people who will come to see the great grand pagoda what if every time they looked up their crown fell off or their hats fell off it will not be good king anvaratha was very clever he was very wise the next day he decided he had to solve this problem and was thinking of a solution before he washed his face with the bowl of water he looked at his reflection in the water and there an idea struck him he called the builder of the pagoda and told the builder build a big pool in front of the mighty pagoda the next day the king visited the pagoda and he was very happy to see the big pond in front of the pagoda he could see the reflection of the pagoda in the pond and he was very happy his crown was on his head and he could see the whole pagoda children i hope you all enjoyed today's session now i would like you all to make some time and once again read the lesson in the park you can also share the story of the king's crown with your friends till we meet next time please take care bye bye and stay safe